Good morning, beautiful people. What is going on? Man, I look like a mess today, but hey, the videos have to get churned out. It's Ethan J coming at you guys live from this video. I look like a top tier, top tier messy boy. Hope everything is good for you guys on the other side of the world. I know it's kind of a silly intro, but we're gonna go into a pretty serious topic. Um, I hope things have been great for you guys and you guys are making strides in your personal lives and your businesses and whatever you guys do for a living. Um, and I'm glad that you guys are tuning in. So um, I've been talking uh, with a close buddy of mine and uh, there's a topic that I wanted to really talk about. Uh, you know, the topic of relationships and finding the right partners and creating the right situations in life can be a challenging scene for a lot of young singles, right? Um, finding that spouse, uh, asking God, why why did I find, not find the partner that I'm supposed to be with? Uh, how come I, I, I haven't been making the right connection? Like, and you can kind of get cynical in a sense because you think um, you're, you're everything that you need to be, right? And you have all the ducks in the right row and all things are in the right area. But sometimes chasing the thing that you think that you're ready for too soon could bring you an early demise, right? Now, um, I think about this because I recently actually got out of a relationship and it was with a girl that was just amazing. Like she was amazing. Every part of her is amazing. I still think about her to this day. She was bright, positive, intelligent, beautiful, uh, articulate, uh, immaculate. Um, every, everything about her is just, just screams 10. She's, she doesn't lack in any area of her life. And, um, and I know that's not true because we're all human, so we all have lacks. But the thing about her was she was very um, self-aware of herself and she was working hard in her life. And uh, she was always humble and that kept her, that, guys, the secret code right there to be an instant 10 is to work hard, be humble, and be positive. She had those traits and she utilized them everywhere she went. She brought energy wherever she went and she was a 10 every time that I saw her. And that's what got me to be interested in her. And um, I had to leave, I left her, not because of anything to do with her, but because of thoughts that I had within myself. I had to ask myself, this girl studying to be such a powerful profession. She's gonna change the way her family is living. She's gonna become like the, like, like the hero in her family and here I am being such a bad influence, uh, taking her away from her purity and her innocence and bringing her into something that I wanted to do to fulfill my carnal needs. And it was eating me away every single day. And every single day that I saw her smile and I saw her study so hard, she would be up late night studying for exams and, and she'd be studying, uh, you know, and then and then to hang out with me and we would just do silly stuff. And I would just think to myself, like, you know, like, am, am, am I, Am I gatekeeping this girl's future right now? And I, I had those thoughts and it would eat me up and no one believes me, but this is really the reason why I sat her down and broke up with her. Um, I loved her enough to know that I might not be the best piece for her future, right? Um, and I don't know if I'll ever meet her again, to be honest with you, because I know I broke her heart. Um, I know she doesn't understand why I did what I did, but it made me think about a few things and I'll share that with you guys in this video. Sometimes we think that we are ready for relationships we're not. I thought I was ready for this relationship. I'm like, yeah, man, I'm gonna be killing it, boom, boom, whatever. But am I really to be ready to be a father? Am I ready? Am I? Do I have the skills in mind right now to be a good husband? Do I have the skills right now and the income right now to be a good partner? Do I have the resources right now that I can support a wife and kids? No. Right, so it's like when you start to ask these questions and you start to become aware, it you start to realize, bro, we are we are chasing things that are gonna literally ruin the lives of the people that we are trying to pursue them with. You're pursuing a girl, you're pursuing a wife, but you want to put your wife through financial hardship and struggle and potential divorce, right? And then her going bankrupt and having to go to a shelter or something. Because you as we as the men, we can't provide for it. And that's the, the, the traditional role as a man is to provide and protect and delete. So if we can't do these things, then why are we pursuing women? I'm saying this for, for you guys, but you guys are probably well along the path of development and the journey and the process of, of life. So you might be in a different stage in your life. I needed this stuff because it would have kept me accountable, right? So the moral of what I'm saying, don't demonize yourself for being single. Right, because there, the, you could look at it from a perspective of yeah, you're not getting anything, you know, or you could look at it as as I'm honorable enough to not to ruin someone's life 
So I'm being single till I make the money that I need to make. And I, I'm being single till I get where I need to get to so that I can be a great partner in the future. And being self-aware enough to know that that's why you're doing it is, is huge, man. It's huge. It, uh, it's humbling. Um, it takes a lot of humility. And it means that you have to keep true to that because then you might get opportunity to hook up or get into a relationship with another person and um, it's it, it, you're, you'll be tested and um, in my circumstance I haven't been with I haven't talked to a single girl um, since I broke up with my ex because she made me realize that I'm not good enough right now I'm just not good enough this stage of me this 2024 version of me is just there's nothing else that should be on my mind besides fitness and money and God. Like there should be nothing else. I can't, I can't invest. And the type of partner that I am is if, if, I, if I'm in a relationship, I'm gonna make sure that my partner is well taken care of. I'm gonna buy her gifts, I'm gonna buy her roses, I'm gonna buy her flowers, I'm gonna massage her, I'm gonna take care of her, I'm gonna play with her, I'm gonna you know, go do events, I'm gonna, you know, and, and, and I just don't have that in me right now, in this current stage, it's just not in me. And, um, I know that I might never meet a girl as great as her again, and I, maybe I will, but my outlook will always be that I will find true love in my lifetime, and I will find massive success, and I believe that in myself no matter what, no matter what the world or other people tell me. Um, so that's my, that's my perspective on, on things, um, and that's my perspective on relationships. Uh, I'm going to leave with this powerful note. Be the man that your father couldn't be, and be the man that your son will be proud of. If you had a son, right, how would you want your son to look up to you? All right, this is for my men in the room, right? So this is for the men, this is for the brothers, right? How do you want your son to look at you? You want your son to look at you as this guy that's just working a dead-end job and never really tapped into his masculine potential, never really, never really, uh, you know, flourished, never really uh, found his essence of being a man, never really, you know, never really learned how to fight, never really worked on his body, Right? Is that is that how you is that is that how you want to be known to your son, right? So your son gets into a fight at school and and now you don't know how to defend him. Your your wife gets hit outside somewhere and you don't know how to defend her, and your house gets robbed. You don't know what to do in that situation. Or are you going to be the man that when situations arise, you are ready for it. You can provide for them. You can protect for them. You work with integrity. You have a good standing in your community, right? These are the things. I'm just hiding a logo because I'm wearing a logo shirt for a company that I work for. But these words are worthy nonetheless. So the moral of the story, guys, right? <laughs> Every single day, go out into this world and become the man that you know that your son needs or your daughter needs, right? The future. And if you don't have children, this means just to visualize it. What would that father look like? Right? What would he do? How would he represent himself? What would he do? Um, how would he train? What would he, what would he, how would he speak? What skills would he have? And then become that version. And until then, discipline your sexuality. Discipline your desires. Discipline your work ethic. Discipline your, uh, your dreams. Discipline your, uh, uh, discipline your, um, your ambition. Discipline your, uh, uh, your hunt for play, you know? And I'll say this one more thing to just be even more humbler. Maybe I might never become good enough to have a relationship or be in a partner, be with a partner. Maybe I might, I might never be good enough, right? The journey of life was, was never about uh, self-pleasure. Actually, the journey of life is about self-mastery, right? It's about self-mastery and gaining wisdom and then helping people. And as I've grown older and wiser, and I see that now, that's really what it is. And the ones who have relationships, not all of them were destined to be in relationships. And I've learned this with my own parents, right? And I've learned this with some of my friends' parents. Some of these people just did what they thought was best, right? Yeah, let's just move to a new country and pop kids out, all right? Sometimes that's not the best game plan. There's other aspects of life that are more important than just procreation, right? And one of the bigger uh, things in life that a lot of people don't talk about is self-mastery. Mastering your budgeting, mastering, uh, mastering your time management, mastering your vocationary skills, mastering um, your etiquette, mastering your leadership, mastering your faith, mastering yourself, 